Hello mga kayopi! Welcome back! So I'm gonna show you what you need to consider when you are upgrading your internet connection to 100 Mbps and up. Hello mga kayopi! Welcome back! So I just tell you some tip on what you need to consider when you are upgrading your internet connection to 100 Mbps. First is your modem or your home router. So usually that when you're up to 100 Mbps, so the ISP's provider will gonna change that one if it's not a gigabit connection. But if you're on fiber, so by default, usually ready na siya for gigabit. And the next thing is um, if you are using an external router, so you need to consider that that your router is a gigabit connection. And also the network switch, so that's another one. So if you're using a network switch at your home, so you need to consider that your switch is already a gigabit connection. Because if it's not, that will cause your um, internet connection to be uh, slower or less than 100 Mbps. So if you're using a Wi-Fi mesh, so you also want to consider um, the cable that you're using. Especially if you are using your Wi-Fi mesh as an internet backhaul. So what does it mean? It's like your other internet mesh in other area is using a LAN cable because if you're using a LAN cable compared to the Wi-Fi signal in extending the connection, LAN cable is much faster especially if you're using or you have a 100 Mbps LAN. So usually all our old cable or existing cables are CAT5 or CAT5E and if you are on a gigabit connection you need to be ensure especially if it's quite a long you know, maybe more than 5 to 10 meters you need to use a cat 6 at least cable so cat 6 and cat 6e so that's the way cat 7 8 that's usually used from a data center but from a home perspective cat 6 or 6e could be a better choice because uh, higher cable said like cat 8 is more expensive so I prefer you just stick on the cat 6e so I'm gonna show you what will be the difference if I am using a CAT 5E cable to a CAT C. So watch this. So mga kayopi, pakita ko lang sa inyo. So naka Wi-Fi mesh ako. Ayan. Na naka internet backhaul. So nakakabit yan doon sa taas. So kung makapansin nyo, ang speed lang nito is hanggang 90 or 100 Mbps. So try ulit natin. Tapos again. So ayan. So mapapansin nyo, hindi siya umaabot ng 100 and up, di ba? So, pag kinumpare niya natin sa ibang uh, Wi-Fi mesh, um, lumalampas yan ng 100. So, yung plan ko kasi ngayon, naka PLTD boost, 200 Mbps, may glue pa. So, dapat around 200 plus siya. So, ano ba yung issue nito? So, yung issue niya is yung cable niya. Kita ko sa inyo, yan. So, ito, itong internet cable na to na nakakabit sa aking Wi-Fi mesh is CAT5E. And masyadong malayo compared sa pinanggalingan niya. So, kasi yung CAT5E, um, uh, I think eh, hindi siya masyado lumalampas. Pag mahaba na, hindi niya kayang mag uh, bato ng more than 100 Mbps. So, ang gagawin natin, papalitan ko itong cable na to yan, ng cat 6 so yan mga kayopi, kapalitan natin itong cable gamit yung cut 6 natin na cable. So maglili niya tayo pataas. So kabit muna natin. So mga kayopi, nasa kisami ngayon tayo, maglili niya. Kita niyo yung blue na yan. Yan yung cut 5E na mahaba. So hindi niya kita medyo madilim. So punta doon. So kapalitan natin yan ng cut 6 para mas mabilis. So, ayan mga kayopi, mainit dito. So, ayun ko muna. So, mga kayopi, napalta na natin ito ng kable ng CAT6. So, ayan. Ayan, kita nyo. CAT6 cable na yan. So, naka-internet backhaul yung ating Wi-Fi mesh. So, pakita ko sa inyo yung speed niya. So, ayan mga kayopi, tingin ngayon natin kung anong speed na. Ayan. So, lumampas na ngayon tayo ng... 100 Mbps, kanina 90 lang so after changing the cable, kita nyo naman nasa 200 Mbps na tayo, so namamaximize na natin yung internet connection natin, yan no? upload speed natin is 150, yan no? mga ganyan, 160, 70 
So, yan mga kayopi. Successful yung ating pagpalit ng cable. So, so we change the CAT 5E to CAT 6. Ayan. So, yan mga kayopi. Successful yung pagpalit natin ng cable. So, actually, yung mga mesh yung naka-internet backhaul siya para ma-maximize ko yung internet speed. So, actually, tatlo yan. So, lahat sila naka-internet cable. So, yan. So, the whole house is around 200 Mbps yung speed. So, sa katumunta. So, yan yung advantage ng mesh. So, until next time, bye!